Welcome back to the Red Carpet Reup, your go-to channel for all the latest and hottest updates from the music industry. Today, we're diving into a major development in the Tory Lanez and Megan Thee Stallion case. Tory Lanez recently claimed to have new evidence that could prove his innocence, but California's Attorney General's office isn't buying it. Let's break it all down. Remember to like, share, and subscribe for more exclusive content. All right, let's get into the key points of this story. Tory Lanez, currently serving a 10-year prison sentence for the 2020 shooting of Megan Thee Stallion, has been hoping to overturn his conviction. He filed a habeas petition in December with a statement from his driver, Joquan Smith, claiming that he saw Megan's friend Kelsey Harris holding a gun. Lanez's lawyers argued that this should be considered new evidence. However, Smith also admitted he didn't actually actually see who pulled the trigger. Here's a look at the affidavit submitted by Smith, which was part of Tory's legal strategy. On July 29th, Deputy Attorney General Michael C. Keller issued a response stating that Smith's statement doesn't qualify as new evidence. Keller highlighted that Tory's previous lawyer, George McDissian, chose not to call Smith to the stand during the December 2022 trial, believing he wouldn't be a helpful witness. Keller noted, the fact that Smith didn't see who fired the gun does not directly contradict Megan's testimony that Tory was the person who shot her. Furthermore, Keller emphasized the wealth of other evidence supporting Tory's guilt. This includes DNA results, Megan's testimony, and Tory's own texts and phone calls after the shooting, which appear to implicate himself. As you can see, the evidence presented at trial was substantial. So what's next for Tory Lanez? Despite his efforts to seek a new trial based on what he claims was an erroneous admission of evidence and prosecutorial misconduct, it looks like his current 10-year sentence will stand for now. And let's not forget, he faces deportation to Canada after his release. Thanks for tuning in to the Red Carpet Reup. Don't forget to hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe to our channel for more updates on this and other stories from the music world. See you next time.